remove those bolts remove the subframe bolts from underneath and it's the job done it's way easier to do this because the motor's out the car what's up guys it's your boy empty for back with another video um today we're going to be working on the e36 i actually have to remove my front subframe to get it reinforced um i got these from condor um i actually bought these like two three years ago they've just been sitting around I'm finally getting to reinforce. I'm reinforce the whole car. I'm gonna start off with the front subframe since the motor's out. And I'm gonna take it to a local guy. He's gonna weld it on for me. Then we're gonna install it back on. Hopefully you get the motor transmission back in. Then we work from there. The mission is to get the car running and then um, try to like fix everything else as we as we go on, you get know what I'm saying? So this is what I'm working with now. I got the car jacked up already on the jack stands. And yeah, I already uh, came and put some PB blaster on some of these bolts so I could take them off easy. It should be an easy job, especially because the motor is out there already. So, sorry about it. Hopefully, I can get this done in like 45 minutes or even less. But here, let's get to it. So, I gotta get this bolt out the racket pinion because the bottom keeps coming out. So, I'm trying to hold the bottom half. With my hand. So I went and put some freaking pants on because everything that's in this fuck in this freaking everything that's in this freaking uh engine bay was crawling on me. I'm actually having a hard time with the left one, but the right one I was able to get out. Actually, real simple. I actually, don't need to hold it no more. I can just screw it out. Got that one out, the right companion. But this left one is giving me a problem. There we go. So I got both the bolts out so far. Next I'm gonna see if I could crack those uh, those bolts for the control arms right there. I think it was actually real. Alright, so with those out, this should be able to come forward. Uh, I expected. Let's put this up here. Ugh. Keep that out the way. But since I went ahead and I took those two bolts out, I'm gonna crack these, and then I'm gonna go underneath and take out the. Matter of fact, I might just leave those in. Take these off take off the four subframe bolts on the left and the right side, and then take the bushings off when the whole subframe is out. Take it out as one piece. Yeah, I knew this was, was gonna be hard, boy. Oh, cut from another side. Whew, it's gonna be a bitch to get out, man. I actually wasn't smart. <laughs> Sheesh. Got that out after freaking like five minutes. I cut I cut this clip short because I was there with this freaking pole for mad long. Just uh, 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 uh. 
Sheesh. Oh, this is my first time doing this. So this is your first time watching this and you've never done it before, you could do it yourself. It's actually a little easier for me because um, the motor's out of the car. If the motor was in the car, I probably wouldn't be doing this. Probably ask my friends to help me and shit or pay somebody to do it. But it's pretty simple. This is a, uh, a 22. I think those were 16s and 17s because you got the, the nut kept coming off while I was doing the bolt, so I had to hold it with a 17. And then I'm going to use the same jack pole to crack this bolt and get that off. Ugh. There we go. Actually, that one came off a lot smoother than the first one. Feels like I can get it by hand now. Oh, that other bolt was on there tight. This one is a little easier. So, there we go. We got both of those out. So, now I gotta take out these four subframe bolts. This one right there and the other one is uh, right there that's four of them it's on each side oh they're size 19 i thought i had i thought i didn't have the right size for it but i do so yeah i'm gonna crack those see if i get that shit off it's hot as fuck man I seen something crawling just now. Hmm. That was actually a lot easier than I thought. Bang. Just flying everywhere. Oh, bang bang. Oh, I got this shit on because I cut this shit out of my arm on the fucking on some metal shit in there. Hopefully, I don't got no germs in it or nothing like that from just fucking dirty shit. That's why they got electric guns, man. God damn, my arm is fucking tight. Shit. Shit. Fuck. Right. Yo, this shit is long as fuck, boy. Pause. This shit took forever. That's why you need electric guns, man. Fuck. So I took out all four. Clearly. These three look way better than this one. So I'm gonna buy, I'll probably buy a new one. Let's see if I could uh, find a new one. I'll probably, I could probably clean this up. I don't know. But yeah, you see the difference. So I lowered the uh, suspension right there. And then 
I took the bolts off from right here, from off the uh, bushing, the uh, tie rod bushing. And when I did that, it dropped. See, now I got enough space to pull it up. And then on that side, I just gotta loosen those bolts a bit and then lift it. And it should be good to go. frame out this thing is dirty as hell i don't really want to touch it with my hands i still got the uh, motor mounts in it i'm gonna take those out clean this up then i'm gonna get this reinforced inside and out but yeah Ugh. job's done thanks for watching hit that like hit subscribe next time you've seen this video next time you see a video of mine this should be reinforced and cleaned and painted up now I'm going to install this back in, and then after that, the motor should go in. Yeah. Hit that subscribe. Hit that like.